Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the Team of the Week Week 7 reveal. Super excited to go through the Team of the Week Week 7, guys. As you guys know, this should be the week that we do see the increased of uh, stats, stats, overalls, and hopefully everything else. We are up to Week 6, which now means we're getting Week 7 today. Well, let's see if our predictions hit, of course. Super excited to check that out because predictions are fun this year. Like, they're super fun. Way better than they've been in years past because of the way they're doing this. So, I have had fun with it. A lot more vari variability to what we're doing here. Variability. I think I said that weird. But, I'm really excited to check this out, guys. I'm going to go over the two that were revealed last night first. And then I'm going to go into the ones that are being revealed right now. And then I'm going to show you guys all the stats and kind of what my opinion is on everything. Guys, fingers crossed for Priest Holmes. Fingers crossed for some of these guys that named Tyler Lockett. Hopefully, we hit on some of these. It's always exciting when you're hitting a few of them. But guys, before we get into today's video, again, <clears throat> thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate you guys showing increased support lately. Shout out to today's Poodle Squad member, Garrett Lean. Thank you so much for showing support, man. And if you guys want a chance to be shouted out, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on that noti bell. And if you guys need coins, pick up any of the most feared stuff, team of the week, or the players directly, head over to my reserve down below, take advantage of discounts, and use code Poodle 15% off. But guys, that's about it. Let's head on over. Check out all the stats and show you guys what we're working with for this week. Quick, not a, not a rant, but but angry. Um, so EA did confirm today that Madden will not be available. The next-gen version will not be available to December 4th. So for all of you guys, including myself, who are getting the next-gen consoles on release date, the beginning of November, it will not be available for damn near a month. So now, the thing is, I'm not sure if that means, like, can we not play Madden on there? Like, I'm thinking maybe we can play this Madden, like, this version of Madden on there and still play it. But... For the next gen console like the next gen version of madden which is going to be like how 2k has a new game like madden's gonna have a newer game maybe that version cannot be played until december 4th which you still have access to and everything but i think we're gonna be as long as we can still play this one it doesn't completely bother me but again like we had one of the slowest periods at the end of madden 20. i feel like they've been a little lackluster to start the year in terms of like house rules and stuff because they're working on gameplay stuff for the new one how are they a month behind like 2k is getting it out other people are getting it out and maybe a few days a week a whole month kind of sucks guys i just want to keep you guys updated with that but that's about it for that so for the legend throwback we got will shields now here's the thing what's funny about this is that i'm pretty sure will shields blocked for uh, priest homes so if this is the same day they're talking about as one of my commenters mentioned when you guys did say that it's funny because they picked the guy blocking for him i guess because they had such a good day on the ground they picked will shield so i was actually pretty close i don't know what year it's from exactly but if it's it, it's really ironic that it's the Chiefs right it's the Chiefs right guard. Now there is a chance, like I said, that they had such a good day yardage wise they gave it to Will Shields. So I did propose that it could have been an alignment, but I was told that I was dumb and that there's no way to be alignment, so I went with the running back. But here we are. 89 strike, 90 awareness, 88 pass block, 87 pass block power, 89 pass block finesse, 91 run block, 89 run block power, 91 run block finesse. He's uh, he's decent. If you, of course, if you power him up and chem him up, he will be all threshold, hopefully. If you can get all the thresholds powered up and chem up, then I think he's a he's a steal. Because he's gonna be super cheap. Because we all know that these team of the cards are always super cheap. So if you can get them all threshold, he's gonna be, if he's super cheap and you can take advantage of it, you're going to be able to get 90 run blocking plus, plus 90 pass block. I'm going to be a steal and I believe right guard. So not bad overall for alignment, uh, especially like I said, he's, he's decent. But again, if he hits all threshold and you get him for a cheap price, he's really worth it economically. Now, I, I think he's pretty good, honestly. He's not horrible. And of course, it all depends on this. Now, he, this is going to be threshold powered up. This is going to be threshold powered up. What really matters is these two. Now, at the end of the day, if I just get the run block stuff, I'll still be happy about it. But if I can get this one up one more and this up two more, it'd be great. I don't know if zone run will get that. It'd probably be like go deep or something or one of the other ones. So I, I'd have to check that out. But still, regardless, still looks really good. Rodney Harrison, which is actually one of the guys that I thought about predicting, but I never actually went through with it. I was looking at some safeties. Uh, 89 speed, 90 excel, 90 tackle, 90 play rec, 90 pursuit, 75 man coverage, 89 zone coverage, and 90 hit power. Overall, let's see, powered up and kept up, he can get to 90 speed. He'll have a 90 power hit power, a 90 zone threshold. Okay, so he's looking like every other safety in the game right now with that 90 speed, 90 hit power, 90 zone. Now, I don't think he's that great because we have guys like Jamal Adams who are the same speed but has man and zone, or Taylor Mays who are faster and has zone and hit power higher. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not bad overall, but I do not think he's going to be like a meta safety. I don't think he's even going to be a top five safety. In my opinion, he's not bad at all, like I said. I guess it really depends on behind the card stats, maybe some change of direction or stuff, but. For the most part, it's going to be tough to use him over a guy like Jamal Adams, Taylor Mays, or a few of the other safeties we do have. They all have a similar, similar build. No one really stands out in that aspect. And especially, he doesn't even have the man, which I know Jamal does have. 
that's what it for that guys let's get over to the other ones so guys this is one of the first lower ones we did have two other 80s but they were pretty irrelevant and i didn't get the screenshots for them but again like i said pretty relevant so these are the ones that matter devin white i did predict him so that is our first correct prediction for the day devin white 88 speed 87 excel 72 strength 83 tackle, 80 play rec, 75 block shoot, 83 hit power, and 70 zone. So I was right on the predictions as well. I said that his speed would be around an 88 unless he got a high overall. Good hit power, guys. It's going to be a great user card. Not, not spectacular. going to be just like Patrick Queen. Almost identical, actually. Probably with a little bit lower hit power, though. But still, not a bad card at all. Still pretty good. Uh, I don't think I would use him, of course, because, again, he's just like Patrick Queen. But if you're rocking a budget squad, you get Patrick Queen and Devin White as your two inside cover two linebackers. And you're looking pretty good with those two. Next, we got Devontae Adams again, another correct prediction. 82 speed. Again, this doesn't matter. This is all that matters on this card is going to be the fact that you can power up uh, Devontae Adams plus one now. So he does get up to, I believe, a 91 overall now. He did the team of the week 89. He goes up to a 90, then he gets 91. So again, he does get up a little bit there as well. Jerry Hughes for the Buffalo Bills. Jerry Hughes, he's got 88 overall. That's another correct prediction for us as well. These are pretty easy this week. 80 speed, 84 excel. 90 finesse move, 88 block shot. Not bad, actually. If you can come him up and get him a block shot up a little bit, and he already has 90 finesse move and speed. Not a bad budget rusher, to be completely honest with you guys. He's not bad at all. Now, this card's pretty, this card's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Moving on, Justin Herbert. Now, I didn't predict him because I thought he might have been a part of the scary tall and low sphere, but he's not. 82 speed, 93 throw power, 88 short accuracy, 82 medium accuracy, 81 deep. 82 throw under pressure, 85 throw on the run, 86 to play action. Now, that is going to be a budget beast, possibly a quarterback with that throw power. Not that it's not that easy to get that level of throw power and speed for a cheap price, you know, like a non-meta player. So that's not bad at all. That's pretty good as well. Justin Herbert, you know, he's been killing it, guys. He really has been. A lot of people, you know, Burrow's been good. Tua hasn't played, but Herbert's been different so far. So like, not to say that he's gonna be better than he's gonna be the best of those three, but I mean, it is exciting when the third best drafted quarterback is right now playing that well because that gives you some hope for the other two as well. Like, you know, if he, if Justin Herbert can do this, what can those guys maybe do at some point? But moving on, guys, for our team of the week hero, we got Tyler Lockett. Another prediction, guys. He had to have gotten three touchdowns, almost like 200 yards or 200 yards. He killed it. 92 speed, 83 jumping, 92 catching, 86 catching traffic, 90 spec, 86 short, 87 medium, and 89 deep. So kind of like what I told you guys in terms of stats, power up and come up. He's going to get 93 speed, which is great. He's going to get the deeper running threshold. So I recommend putting play fake on him because he gets deeper running threshold regardless. Put play fake. See if you can get his medium. If you can get his medium or short to a 90, plus the deep and the speed guy, he's going to be a meta, meta receiver right now. He's going to be crazy good. He's, gonna have, he's pretty much going to have DK Metcalf speed with that more route running and more catching, which is really, really good. He's not, of course, he's not tall. You know, he's on the, he's on the smaller side, but still, he's pretty good in general. This tie lock is going to be really good. Now, his price probably going to be in the 250K range. I mean, if Odell was expensive, I mean, He's got to be at least a little more expensive than Odell, right? The card's great, though. I do like Tyler Lockett so far. So good. And then for the LTD, we do have Joey Bosa. Now, I predicted Von Miller. I wasn't too far off. I did predict pass rush. Now, Joey Bosa, 80, 92 overall, 80 speed, 88 acceleration, 87 strength, 86 tackle, 93 play rec, 78 block shed, 89 power move, and 94 finesse move. As per usual, Bosa has no block shed, but power can come up. You can get his bump finesse move to like a 99 with pass rush maxed out. So again, if you want a crazy, crazy edge threat for that finesse uh, move kind of guy, Joey Bosa is going to be your guy. But of course, you have to remember that he's not going to be able to play the run as well, too. Which is weird, because in real life, I've seen, him blow up, I've, I've seen him blow up some runs. I don't know where this, you know, Joey Bosa can't run stuff comes from. I mean, at least, at least give him like an 85, right? It will get to an 80, but again, that's not really that great. But he is crazy athletic and crazy good at pass rushing. So, I mean, if you're just looking for a pure pass rusher, I mean, again, you could also do the whole sub out thing where like on third and long or second and long or first, you know, whatever it is first and long after like a penalty you know they're not going to run it or something sub them in let him wreak havoc on short yardage downs or running downs or you're playing a running guy take him out but again do you want to be paying the ltd price to do that i guess it depends on this price point but it's about it for that so guys that is your team of the week week seven reveal this should be in game right you know around two o'clock the usual uh time now super exciting i won't be making that video today i have something to do as well as again you guys already see the players i'm not gonna open packs for them so Kind of the deal but if you guys need uh coins or anything to go pick up these players you guys know the deal heading over to mutt reserve once they go live around two you will see um they go live on mutt reserve you can buy the cards directly on there as well if you want bosa or lock it go pick them up you just go poodle get an additional 15 percent off it's the more efficient way to get them as well but yeah I'm, I'm excited this team of the week's fun it looks great i also have my scary fast uh video going up later as well so stay on the lookout for that and that's about it those are my two videos for the day thank you guys for your support for the poodle squad today i got to do again all you got to do is like the video, turn on the noti bell, and comment down below Poodle Squad. Once you do all those things, you're entered to be shouted out. Good luck, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's video. Enjoy your team of the week. 
And hopefully we have most gear part three coming out tomorrow. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.